Yeah, 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 what's up, you guys? This is Gas Sun, and today we are going to be looking at Supercell's newest update for Archer Tower Level 13, the new wall upgrades, the Golem Flying Bat Pig thing, and the rest of the updates, minor tweaks and replay stuff. So, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade all of my walls for this one. I want to give a big shout out to At Bounty for this. These guys are hooking it up. And they're helping me get these walls. If you guys would go ahead and check them out, you guys can get some free gems by doing this. Go in there, use my invite code GODSON, and this can help you get bonus points so that you can earn free gems and get your upgrades as well. Just go in there and play some of the games they got. And by doing that, you earn points so that you can convert it into gems on Clash of Clans. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and speed this up and I'll upgrade all my walls. All right, you guys, so we're back and we're just finishing up the last bit and pieces of the upgrades. Uh, we're just getting the last parts of these walls. I think I should be able to do it with the amount of gems I have left over. And that should be it. I think we're pretty much all of them are level 10 now. And thank goodness that took a lot, but definitely needed for my raid to leaderboards, you guys, because it is just killer up here on defense. I just cannot survive. So, all right, you guys, let's go ahead and jump up to the new update that just came out. All right, let's go ahead and get this Archer Tower 13. Well, I must say, it's probably matching the uh, Town Hall 10-ish type of look, where it's more of a bronze orange. So I'm really liking that a lot. Uh, I did notice that the arches were upgraded on the tower as well, so maybe... Um, we can go ahead and upgrade this now. Oh, wow, that looks awesome. Looks like a bat is on the front. Ah, and there's a new troop, the Lava Hound. So these are the stats, you guys. Go ahead, take a good look. And um, housing space is pretty good. Not too bad, that's like the same as the Golem. And, um, okay, yeah, the Archer Towers were upgraded on the Sorry, the archers on the archer tower were upgraded as well. So let's go ahead and upgrade the archers now and see what, uh, see how they are. Okay. Next level seven, that is. And let's see if we can actually train some of these guys up to see what they look like up close and personal. Uh, oh, nice. We can dismiss our troops in the army camp as well, not just the clan castle. So that's really good. That's really good. So I don't have to really dump them out in the goblin camps anymore. I can actually save elixir now. Whoops. I don't have any elixir. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Got my elixir and let's train up some of these troops. Uh, let's do five. Five. Oh, okay. Let's do four actually. There we go. Now, let's see. Ah, there they go. Dang, look at that bar. That's a farming troop right there. <laughs> Actually not, Super Seer realized these guys are good enough for uh, champions now. Champion level, so if you guys are barching your way up to champions, that's what you can use right there, the barch. Archers and barbs, I love it. All right, so they're in there, good stuff. We got them in our army camps, but uh let's see what else are we missing you know what you guys i want to go ahead and do a um replay show you guys what these replays look like because we have a new feature i believe that lets us pause if i'm not mistaken let me see if i can find a good one for us though 
Now, there's actually been a few things that they've upgraded or, sorry, updated to the game. And that's just, you know, my my opinion about the updates is they're not like big revolutionary updates, but they're things that we really need in the game. The whole thing with uh, dismissing troops in the clan castle was needed, and I'm glad they brought that in. So the small changes are actually really big for some of us players, and I'm really excited for the update. Uh, now, if we go ahead and check out the replay, you can see on the bottom left corner, uh, that is an indication that of how many troops is left for the attacker. And that gives us an idea of um, what is the way the battle could probably turn out. So he's going in with the Balloonian, and there goes the, let me pause it for you, as you can see the Clan Castle troops are now coming out from both sides, uh, the right and left side, so that's a new thing that was added to the game. The uh, Balloonians are going in, and this is a really, see people are saying this isn't a good troop right now for Champions level, this guy is up here in the, you know, Champions, and he's using uh, Balloonians, so I can't wait to see how the Lava Hound will affect this troop. And uh, what kind of things the Lava Hound will bring to the table now with the Balloonians. Okay, so he has the King and Queen left over. Now this is actually pretty risky. With the heroes at the bottom that right there, they could pull the heroes, the attacking heroes, away from the Town Hall unless he can get to it in time. Good stuff. He got it. He's uh, fighting the heroes now, and it looks like at least he's getting a 50%. Or sorry, a one star. And the queen is pretty much gone. So he's got four minions left. I'm glad they did this. So now I can see uh, how much he has left over. And where he could possibly attack with this. And it doesn't look like there's really anywhere he could go. Because the archer towers are guarding everything. And yeah, I don't think he can get much with this. But a very good attack at least with the balloonian. Very hard to do at this, uh, at this high level up here. So, good replay. Uh, what else did we get though? Uh, I do know that the healer, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, healer was changed as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade the Lava Hound. Now that's the stats for level two and it's little Lava Pups. If you can see the stats right there, let me go ahead and upgrade this thing. And let me see, I think we have another level. Yes, level three, and that's the stats for level three right there. The pups didn't look like they changed much. So that's level three, and we're maxed. So if you got a good look at it, that's the uh, level three. Let me see if I can show you in here as well. Level three, Lava Hound right there, those are the stats. Basically like an air golem. So good stuff. And uh, let's see what else can we think of that happened with this update. Um, now another thing that I realized, someone said on the forums, but I, I'm i going to try and test it out because uh, this is a big thing for me too. When I have spells and I want to dismiss them, they actually charge you for that or you don't get your loot back. You don't get your elixir back for that. So let me go ahead and go to the campaign and see if I can dump uh, hold on. Let me see if I can dump one of these spells and see if they charge me or not, or if I get my elixir back for doing this. We'll jump. Uh, we'll dump that the jump spell and see if we can purchase another spell and see if, uh, how it uh, works. So it costs 40 gems. Let's see. Okay, yeah. See, I got my elixir back for doing that. I wasn't penalized. I think the penalty was like half or something. You only get 50% back. So that's there, a good uh, a good addition to the game. And of course, going back to the healers, Supercell has implemented in a better AI for them so that they target better groups of people and not just go off to an individual. That's what I'm hearing. But anyway, you guys, those are pretty much all the updates I can think of. I will be showing gameplay of the Lava Hound very soon, if not the next video. So thank you for watching. This is Godson, and I will see you next time. Godson out.